What's going on? My name is Tyson McGuffin. Welcome to the McGuffin Show. We're on episode 43 here. Got a special guest. But before I introduce my guests, um, YouTube update. We just posted two videos. Posted a video last week on changing direction while you're dinking. And then a video this week on premature ejaculation. Don't be the hero. Don't be the hero. And uh, don't be so premature with your speed up. Hang in there. Um, camp update. We got some camps coming up. Uh, one in particular, we're hitting chicken and pickle uh, in Overland Park, Kansas. That's a brand new location. You can go to my website, go to TysonMcGuffin.com and get yourself signed up um, for that upcoming camp. Upcoming tournament, we have the Selkirk Labs tournament at the Riviera Country Club in LA that first weekend in August. That's our first tournament back. But um, I got my buddy here. He's a father, he's a lawyer, he's an agent, and uh, a very good friend of mine. Josh, how are you, brother? Tyson, thanks for having me. Mr. Detroit. <laughs> Love the hat. <laughs> Love the hat, man. I uh, got my wife and K-Mac here. What's, what's going on, gang? Hey. Ready to hang out. Yeah, we got right. quite a group. We, we, we do. Quite we a group. Got quite the crew. It's a party. Uh, where's those invoices? Where are they? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Um, so, so Josh, um, let's let's talk about how we met. Kind of how we got going. Um, you know, I uh, I was introduced to Josh by a professional soccer player that was talking to top notch, and one thing led to another, and uh, got to meet Sam and got to meet Josh, and truly enjoyed these guys. And I did not have an agent at that time, and was definitely looking for somebody to kind of take over take over that space. We uh, both my wife and I had way too much on our plate, and uh, Josh has been a perfect fit. So appreciate you, brother. But uh, but Josh, if you don't mind, what do you do? And who are you? And who's your family? Wow. All right. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to try and keep everybody awake. It's uh, you know, my first podcast, Tyson. What? That's what? Crazy. There you go. Come on. No, no way. What a, what a, yeah. what a uh, so great happy, way to break you in. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. <laughs> Episode 43 of the Magoo Show. Of the Magoo Show. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I am um, always a lifetime sport lover and uh, had always wanted to get into the sports biz and uh, practice law for many, many years outside of sports. And in 2020, uh, right before the pandemic, I was just looking for something new and exciting to do. And sort of here we are. And uh, we're a party of five in my family. Got uh, a young boy who's 14. Got a uh, two daughters, uh, 26 and 24, and a beautiful wife. Love and uh, uh, we're good. So um, Somebody at the door? <laughs> he's busy, man. Hey, he's Josh busy is busy. Man. He's, he's busy. It's the Jerry Maguire <laughs> life over there, Tyson. <laughs> Fall in line. <laughs> that, 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 was, uh, that was just, you know, a subtle reminder not to miss any of my children or family. So it worked. <laughs> good, good, Got them all. Good, good. Uh, um, and, and Josh, uh, where do you live at? Uh, most of the time in East Boca. Okay. Currently, though, in the D. In the oh, D. Okay. There yeah. you go. Yeah. So, Joshua, when you uh, became a lawyer, you practiced a uh, totally different specialty in, in law prior to, to doing the sports agent thing? Is that what I'm hearing? I what, did. What was your, your specialty prior to, try, prior to coming on over? I did personal injury work. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Like this a little yeah. bit more? <laughs> Oh yeah, that was not going to work. For me. <laughs> At least not long term. This is uh, this is where my heart is, my passion. Love it. Love and, it. Uh, how how could it not be? I mean, look look what we're doing. This is great. Right. For That's sure. Awesome. For sure. Yep. Um, and uh, Josh, tell us about Top Notch if you don't mind. Tell us about yeah, the agency. So Top Notch is um, is uh, is a firm that's just really incredible. Uh, built on uh, sort of the boutique model, uh, uh, our relationships with our clients are sort of the bread and butter of what we're trying to achieve. Yep. Uh, we do uh, obviously the management side, uh, but we are also in the event space. Uh, hopefully one day soon, we'll roll off a nice pickleball event. Yeah. That's in the works, but- hey, uh, tell, us, in, uh, tell us about the tennis event that you guys run, sorry. Yeah, we run a WTA 250 in Cleveland. Check it out, Tennis in the Land. Yep. A little plug there. Um, in Cleveland, just uh, prior to the US Open and 
in between Cincinnati and the U S open. So for those tennis fans out there, come and check it out. It's uh, really a great week of tennis, excellent vibe. And uh, yeah, so we do that. And then um, we run challengers throughout the year. Um, you have a couple coming up in Midland, perhaps in Columbus. So, you know, we'll see, but yeah, the event space is huge for us. The management side is where we started. Sam Duval is a, uh, a great, great guy, great agent, uh, visionary, uh, started the firm. So yeah, it's been a, a super fit for me and um, I'm happy to be there. Love that. How long has Sam had the firm? You know? I think Tough I think question. he's going into year six, okay. maybe. Awesome. Okay. And you guys, you guys work with uh, tennis athletes, golf athletes, and I was your first pickleball athlete. And uh, now you guys have a, have a few more pickleball athletes. Yeah, 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 for sure. So we're in um, tennis uh, is where it started, um, soccer and pickleball. And uh, pickleball is huge. Uh, um, I am very busy. Meg and I talk regularly. You, you and I, you know, <laughs> the inner workings of Josh and Meg is dynamite. It's, not, it's nothing but dynamite. It's, team, it's, it's teamwork. Team teamwork. Teamwork that makes the dream work. I will be the first to admit this does not work without Meg. Yeah, no. does not happen. She is aces, makes me look good. So oh, Meg, no. I appreciate no, you. No, no, it just takes a village for Tyson. She, she makes me look very good as well. Oh, stop. I could not do this stop. life without her, that's for sure. <laughs> Probably a rare moment where Tyson and Josh are talking. Normally, normally it's Meg, yeah, yeah. Meg and Josh. Yeah. <laughs> usually, no, honestly, usually I'm kind of out of it. Uh, Josh doesn't hear from me all that much. So usually it's my wife. Athlete things mm -hmm. that, or yeah. kid things. I, I got some good time with you yesterday. Yes, yes, right? we certainly did. Anytime we do chat, it is it is always a great time. It's very true. For sure, brother. Yeah. Um, uh, so your boy, Cam Norrie, who's, who's with Top Notch, just made the semis of Wimby, correct? Unbelievable. Guy's yeah. a stud. Truly. Guy's a stud. Yeah, just ama amazing run. Um, he was geeked, we're geeked, amazing. That's cool, that's cool, very cool. Yeah. Okay, so hey, um, tell us what an average day looks like for you at Top Notch. Um, I guess, you know, who you kind of have underneath you, working with your clients, working with Meg, you know, uh, I guess what, what kind of gets done uh, during a day in your space? Uh, yeah, it, so it's funny because it's a, it's a really good question because when we first started, you know, me, you and Meg, basically it was totally different than what it is today. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it, it, you know, I would wake up with my day. A bit know, more developed. Egg, and then, and then that was it. But now it's like grown quite a bit. So now I start and end. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you start and end with me, okay? <laughs> Only me. Disregard Zane. Remember disregard Jesse. It's me. Just throw them out. Okay? <laughs> so, um, yeah, we're, um, I am constantly on on calls, talking to different brands. The opportunities are fast and furious in this sport. Um, everyone wants to be a part of pickleball and no one really has a great idea on how to attack it. Because yeah, right. it's, it's, so, it's so new. Right. The breadth of how the distribution of it is still relatively new and in its infancy. And so over the next couple of years, we're going to see monster changes, even from where we are today. And we've seen monster changes in the dis distribution and the breadth of, of, of pickleball universally, um, even just in the past year. So I'm really in, in a extremely unique position because, um, I get to be front and center to see the sort of the transition from where it was to where it's going. And uh, I get to do it with you, which is couldn't be any cooler. Thanks, brother. Appreciate that. Yep. Why, Vee, what do you have to say about that? <laughs> no, I just think it's cool. And I, I wonder, like, the discussions in office you guys must have, like, to to facilitate the sport that's at such an infancy stage as far as, like, professional representation and brands coming in and, um, you know, what... I guess, do you guys see it? I guess it's both, you know, there's all this new opportunity, but then it's like the land of the unknown a little bit. This whole agent represent representation thing in pickleball is certainly new, obviously in the tennis and soccer side, it's not, but 
there's been a learning curve for all everyone involved on how to operate right. from the tours to the players to the agents getting, getting educated and, yeah for sure yeah on the proper protocol and how to most you know effectively manage um the expectations the the way to properly you know get the biggest value not only for our players but for the for the partners right because right. it's not just a one-way street and um at least that's that's how i like to operate with 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 you and anyone i'm dealing with yeah. well, i think i think it's one of the more addictive things about pickleball um whether you know it's the <laughs> business side the playing side coaching teaching side is the blueprint isn't fully set yet right so uh it lends itself to more creative thinking about how you can be the most efficient trying to tackle whatever whatever it is you're trying to tackle within pickleball. So that's what I hear when I'm teaching camps is everybody's like, you know, it's so addictive. Why is it so addictive? And you're always kind of wrapping your head around why that is. I think this is one of the other factors. Right, yeah, right, for, for sure. sure. I feel like you're, we're always like educating people, but then we're always kind of getting educated. So I, for me, that's been a huge learning thing. Like I think when Tyson and I like, we did a bunch of scrapping on our own trying to figure it out. We didn't really know what we were doing, but talking right. to brands and talking to companies sure. um, and just really had no clue. And then once joining forces with you guys, you guys like were able to show us a whole nother side. But I think on the right. same regard, you know, some of the brands in Pickle or Tours or whatever, they don't know that, oh, we're supposed to call the agent or, oh, we're supposed to, you uh, know, so they don't I was, understand. I was just going to mention that. I was going to say they don't understand. <laughs> Things that, that frustrate the or, Josh. The order of operations, but I don't know. I mean, yeah, I yeah. think it's, we just don't know. They're I not don't. familiar with that. Program. No, no. Yeah, there's still they, other industries yeah. would be, right? There's still right. brand deals contacting me. There's still tour staff contacting me versus going to Josh, okay? Get professional. <laughs> hey, I mean, call call my guy. Don't be contacting me. Definitely don't contact my wife. Call no, my no, guy. No. <laughs> no, but I, I can't tell you how much that's taken off of our plate, just right. knowing that he's handling all the communication. I don't have to have those weird phone calls. There's no animosity when I show up to tournaments and I see brands that I'm with. Um, so it's, and well, it's to you, the, their benefit too. I think the brands, once they realize, gosh, this is, this is a shortcut. If I just talk to Josh and I don't have to talk to Megan Tyson and they're just going to tell me, oh, well, we got to talk to Josh and then everybody get on the phone. So, right. you know, well, and you guys are involved in so much. It's gotta be super helpful just to have somebody be more the visionary, you know, and sure. some of that mental energy of, of have some creative ideas, how to implement them. I'm sure that that's right. enormously helpful over the course of a year and, and everything that you guys are involved in. No, very much so you know my wife has nothing on her plate so but yeah you know i mean, I mean absolutely <laughs> Meg, would you get to work I once know. in a while God, put in some effort i, I mean it's it doesn't like manage the kids you know it doesn't clean the house no, oh, she's, she's an angel she's an angel that, that works 120 percent um well josh uh what do you have going on today brother oh uh, i've got this which is great and then um got some calls for you Post this, which is also good. Hey, bring in the money. Lock it down. <laughs> bring in the it money. Down. Bring in it. Bring in the big bucks. Those invoices paid. Hey, 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 right. <laughs> hey, babe, come on, sweetheart. Tell me, tell tell the viewers hey, here just, how often you I, ask Josh about those invoices. I just account for the payments. Yeah, hey, she wants the money. I just send I it. Check the boxes. We have spreadsheets. We have. You know who she tells first, Josh? She tells me. She's like, God. <laughs> Well, okay. I mean, can they just get it together? No, no it's Tyson. It's like, hey, can we can we buy these more water bottles? Oh yeah, yeah right. <laughs> and I say, well, I got buy more gallon Jeff. water bottles. I, I need them. Jeff for the money first. She needs <laughs> money for the water bottles. You know, priorities. <laughs> um, more are coming. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah right, 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 right. Right. Love it. Love it's it. All the merch and water yeah. bottles that you yeah. want all the time. And right. I mean, uh, also too, just brand deals. <laughs> as we all know, it takes time. Meg yes. and I were not patient at first. And oh. so we're like, we're, you know, texting we're Josh, learning. emailing Josh left and right, asking him about deals. I'm sure he's just like, God, dude, just quit <laughs> talking to me. I'm working on it. Will it. Come. But yeah. I mean, prime example, like the Skechers deal, I mean, it took nine months. I mean, I could, I could have emailed them 50 times saying, right. do you guys even like me anymore? Like, I mean, come on, I'm freaking, I'm stressing out over here. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm cool. I'm, get, I'm getting insecure I'm, over I'm here. pretty sure I'm cool. I mean, come on, send the contract. Um, yeah. But yeah, I mean, those, you know, there's a, there's a lot of inner workings and there's a lot of phone calls and a, a lot has to be done in order for deals to be made. You know, it's, it's, it <laughs> is absolutely the truth. It's sort of like the best way to think about it is you plant the seeds, you have good conversations and then you need, you know, a season or two to see the, the fruits come. Right. And I think we've seen over time, right? Yeah. Like we start.
Fruits are coming yeah, in. Sure enough. Yeah. Fruits are growing. <laughs> they come together. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. yeah, for sure. No, that's such a good point. I think, yeah, it's the waiting. I think for us, it's so funny. And I think that's There's just so many busy. loose ends. Yeah, we just have like a checklist and we always want to just check it off, check it off, check it off. And so invoices yeah, and spreadsheets, right? We can't. Right. It's like the list that has to keep going. <laughs> right, right. But, you want to be done and move <laughs> on to the next. Hey, but then it's such a celebration when something does. No, right. Come on. So it's come on. It's a exhilarating. <laughs> Come on, we got it through. It's finalized. <laughs> hey, yeah, tell sure. tell the viewers here about your about your spreadsheet. Oh, stop. Yeah, you know she wants it. She wants the invoices, and she wants it. Uh, she wants to be able to see With a spreadsheet. Deals, uh, you know, is this deal sixty five percent the way there? No, Josh, you know, is it seventy percent the way there? <laughs> what What about the calendar? Yeah, like, the calendar. I mean, I mean no, no. we're not organized. Everybody takes Sorry. two looks at our calendar, and they're like, like "See you later." No. They just run the other way. <laughs> Kyle. I Ooh. Kyle hasn't hasn't even downloaded the calendar. I, know, I just stay. I, I stay. No, he saw all the colors and then threw his phone away. <laughs> <laughs> just get out. Yeah, I can't handle. Can't process it. <laughs> No, we had a big we had a big issue the other day. Emily called me and she's like, "Oh my gosh, there's things missing on the calendar." Kyle did it. Yeah, like it was, it was, it was, it was probably me. He like, logged in real quick. There were thirty things that were deleted off the calendar, and luckily Google lets you recover. So it's either a baby or <coughs> Emily or Bankers. Tyson. Probably. You can't put it on me. I'm not smart enough to even log in, so it couldn't have been me. Or or me. Yeah, or right. Josh. Put it on Josh. We took your guys' editing right. Yeah, right. permissions away. It was one of us, Josh. <laughs> no, it's too funny. Dang it. Uh, hey, Josh, yeah. give us give us your thoughts on the pickleball industry, how it compares to other industries that you've been in, um, and uh, what you think about the mess that we have going on with PPA, APP, and MLP. Oh man. Swallow all that. Loaded. Uh, that question. Loaded. Swallow all that. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Um, you know, my God, uh, this industry is, it's so, it's so new, but it's so, it's so great. And, um, like I, like I said, some somewhere along the line here, uh, everyone wants to be involved and they, they're all trying to figure out how. And, um, and, and so again, you know, representing, representing you, representing some others really allows me to have many, many conversations with, uh, with the brands. And so I, I have a really good perspective on what's going on and who's doing what and who wants to do what, which I think puts me in a great position to help you and my other clients, honestly. Um, that also holds true with the tours, right? And so what's going on with the PPA, the APP, and and the MLP folks, um, you know, we'll see. Uh, they're all uh, have unique value propositions. I think for the various players on tour, mm -hmm. I think uh, on any given day, you might think there's a lead dog, and then sure enough, something happens, and two days later, maybe you were wrong, and so. Million dollar prize pool, you mean? Twenty five k each. What? I haven't seen that. Where in the hell did that come from? It's true. No, it's so true. No, for sure. Always Time changing. Always changing. For sure. Yeah. Um, and you know, but passion, I think, in this sport, rules the day, uh, generally. Right. I think um, so too. Which, and if you if you think about the guys or the folks, guys and girls who've started the three entities, they all started with via passion. Right, so, right. yeah, that's true. You know, which is kind of cool. Yeah. Um, okay, Josh, hey, tell us, what's uh, most satisfying uh, with working at Top Notch? Or I guess what's most satisfying with working with uh, clients? I love putting the uh, the relationships together. It's, uh, it's the greatest. It's, um, you know, in a past life, it wasn't usually the case where both parties were equally geeked to be a part yeah. of something. Right. In this world, it's the total opposite. <laughs> yeah, it's a little different. That's a good way to put it. <laughs> Gentle way to put it. I Legitimately <laughs> creating, but, but creating legitimate win-win situations, right? Like, that's awesome. Yeah, right. right, 100%. Yeah, very cool. So, yeah, that's most satisfying, for sure. Well, yeah. now that my wife and I truly appreciate you and you've done Yeah, we done couldn't, more couldn't than do it without us. you, that's for sure. 
No, for sure. Probably uh, saved our marriage too. <laughs> you have definitely saved our marriage. <laughs> <laughs> Therapist on the side. Yeah. <laughs> right. Attorney and counselor, right? Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> that that is right. Uh well I don't have any more questions. What else? Uh Mom, you got something to say? What do you What do you want to say to Josh? <laughs> no, just big thank you. I think he knows that, though. I mean, we. I feel like we work really well together, and it's so nice to. I, I don't think anybody really realizes what it takes to put together <laughs> your schedule or your stuff. <laughs> it can be a little tedious. I just, just in general, I mean, it is kind of funny how to, having. Um, we said it's so exciting. We finally brought in an agent that's taken quite a bit off, but then I just kind of morphed to manager where I'm still managing your schedule and kind of the inner workings of once the deal goes through, okay, now we have to facilitate, you know, photo shoots or, you know, whatever, X amount of posts, content, those sort right. of things, content. Right. So, um, we do really have, we're blessed. We have such a great crew around us that all help us achieve what we <laughs> what including the do. man off to my left here i'll tell you what <laughs> yes, he is uh he's a shining star in my book and uh i truly appreciate k-mac over there so yeah got to keep that that yes. ship going but keep no like you're right there's there's a lot of people that you guys have put around you that that keeps it going in a lot of different directions a lot of experts in their field and it's fun to fun to be a part of it yeah well, thank you brother yeah. thank you find good people and keep up. find good people and hang on so that's what life's about so josh i do have yeah, one totally. question josh so, how, got a question here. how how did the vibe change you know prior at like at top notch prior to you signing tyson kind of the vibe and the thought of pickleball compared to all of these other you know obviously established you know tennis golf soccer much more established on the professional scene prior to signing tyson what were the other agents like with you signing a pickleballer versus now obviously you've got a few more uh you know pro pickleball people on your on your team there has the vibe changed quite a bit just in the last you know what is it six months to a year since you guys have been right. together mm -hmm. Yeah, hey, uh, Kyle, I appreciate that question. And uh, it's changed dramatically. We didn't know. Right, right. I imagine in, so, yeah. We, 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 we didn't have any idea. We knew Tyson was amazing. We knew, you know, all you have to do is look at Instagram and, and watch him play. And, and you know there's something there, right? Right, right. But we didn't, we didn't understand the landscape. Um, they were teaching me, back in time, they were teaching me, <laughs> right, right, right. you know, I, I think that ended or maybe it's still going on. I yeah. don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we're all learning. But, um, it, but yeah, the landscape has changed completely. We're, we want to be as an agency and, and me as the agent leading it up, we want to be, um, the very best at this, you know, not any different than how we want to be in the other areas that, that we um are part of and so uh we're all in on pickleball Love we it. we yeah we think that we're just at the beginning stages mm -hmm. we believe if we um you know say what we do and do what we say and and just keep our word on things that uh we'll continue to grow our roster uh that our clients will have good things to say about us and we'll do good things for our clients and for the brands and, we're, and if we're doing that then it all sort of works out, which right. is goes back to the thing I enjoy most about what I'm doing. Well, credit to you guys for taking a chance. I mean, I think that everyone kind of sees now what the vision could look like, or it's starting to open up a little bit and, you know, being a pioneer always, always pays off. So credit to you guys. Wish you guys the best. For sure. Uh, thanks, Kyle. Yeah. I appreciate it. Um, yeah. So good. So big things. And, uh, no matter what happens, however we grow, uh, Mag and Tyson are always going to be right there with me. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Here's well, Josh, I uh, appreciate you being on the pod, man. And uh, happy that uh, you got to do your first podcast with me. Even even better. But um, have yourself a good day. Tell the fam we said hi. Truly appreciate you, man. And uh, you've done more than enough for us. So, um, yeah, man, can't, can't say enough about you. you. Thank you. Too. Uh, Kyle, nice to meet you. Yeah, likewise. Yeah. Good to see you. Mm -hmm. Have a great, great day. And thanks for having me. Yeah, take All care, right, Josh. Thanks, take care, brother.